Uh, welcome to a 527th training video on how to set up 6up data properly. Um, a lot of new members have come from Daisy and use a program called Play with 6. Um, we actually don't use Play with 6, but one of the older versions called 6up data. So I'm going to show you how we set it up um, and how you can actually install all the mods. Um, right, we're going to go straight over to a website called 6 updatanet um, we're going to go over to the downloads page and you'll see here you can actually download play with six um, if you notice down the bottom here you can actually still download the older six updater which is version 2.9.7 pre uh, we're going to download that we're going to save it to our desktop which you can see I've already done and uh, we're going to launch it so let's get rid of that now if you're using windows 7 it's always best to install programs running them as administrator so we're going to do that and you can see it's quite quick to install i'm quite lucky i've got quite a fast machine and we're going to go through the process we're going to accept the license agreement um, obviously you don't want to put sugsy there you want to put your own name and I'm actually going to install it onto my SSD. However, you can install it to a separate drive if you wish. And we're going to go through all the processes. Um, and as I say, I am quite fortunate to have a quick machine and you can see that installed fairly quick. Um, right, we're not going to launch the program because that will actually launch six launcher, not six updater. So we're going to finish that and then we're going to open the 6up data now this uh, first time of running actually I lied every time of running it's going to take a little bit of time to uh, to start up because it does lots of back-end checking uh, syncing with servers and that type of thing before it gives presents you the information um, so we're going to sit patiently while that does that and uh, uh, do you want to enable multiplayer functions? Uh, yes, we do. Um, because that's the whole reason why we're installing it. So a few more seconds um, before it loads in all the data. Um, and it's loading in all the filters. And there we have it. Now, new mirrors have been detected. Uh, would you like to perform speed test to order the mirrors on ping priority yes please um, now the reason why we stick yes on that is because what it's actually doing is um, hitting all the servers that actually are hosting all the mods and putting them in rank order so no matter where you are in the world you're actually going to be hitting the fastest servers um, rather than just hitting the ones in the UK if the if you're in the UK but if you're in Romania um, the UK's aren't probably the fastest ones that you can get your hands on right so that's nearly finished you can actually close this window here um, we're on 95% initialized and you'll be able to see that it's hitting all the servers all around the world um, putting them in rank order of ping now that's actually done so what we're actually going to do now is we're going to set up a new server a new preset for 527th it's quite easy all you've got to do is right click on this white bar here and new preset now I like to keep mine my things quite tidy so we're going to rename that um, 527th server um, and okay didn't like return carriage and what we're going to do now is add in um, all the mods that we use in 527th as a standard now ensure you've actually got this server selected and then come over to the mods tab and you'll see here a window this is a filter window and there is a wild card but it's just as quick to put the at sign everything within armor starts with an at if it's mod related and the first thing we're going to download is ace and uh, we're simply going to right click and add to preset now that's automatically going to put it there it also includes the free cbas that we use 
Um, now we also use something called ace x. So we're going to go through the ace x's and we're going to install those. Ace x r u. Ace x s m. Ace x u s navy. Um, we also we use a communications package called Acre and this actually will allow us to talk to one another via radios. Now it's very important that when you're actually installing 6 Updater for the first time and Acre that you don't actually have your TeamSpeak connected to anybody's server at the time because Acre will actually um, try to put a DLL file within the um, the TS3 plugins folder and sometimes there can be a conflict so it's always advisable to shut TeamSpeak down while you're actually doing this so we're going to add Acre in now Acre has a dependency called JArmor now you can see that I've also I've already got a JArmor 2 lib um, which is green. I'll go through the colors in a second, um, but it's put JArmor 2 lib in new, um, but we'll go through that in a minute. We also use something called Blast Core. Um, help if I spell it right. Blast Core Visuals. And we use a sound mob called J JSRS. Um, and we use the standard one. Now you can see from this, this is actually 1.43 gigabytes. Um, so uh, that is client side. So you can join any of our servers without it, although you're gonna miss out on all the nice sounds of the weapons, the trucks, and all, all the rest of the things. It really is worthwhile being a little bit proactive and downloading that well before. Um, um, what else have we got? Um, we also use something called ST HUD. Uh, this helps us with spatial awareness. Um, now you can see that some of the mods um, are green. Green is good. Um, you'll see that our main preset is yellow, um, which actually tells us, yellow tells us that there's an update and blue means that it hasn't been installed at all. Now the simplest way of updating is right click on the preset, go down to update or actions and install and update mods. And what that would do is that would go through all your mods, all 14 of them, and it will check. If there's any that are blue, it will actually give you this license agreement which you have to accept. And you can see we've installed two, so it's going to ask us twice um, and now what it's actually going to do is it's going to run through all the mods check that we've got the latest versions and if there's any that we don't have it's going to install them um, I say jarma 2 lib uh, eventually they're going to combine so there's only one um, but there's a, um, a crossover between the latest patch um, now it's brought us up a warning message saying the following mod wants to run programs or install additional DALs to game folder um, and this is what I said before about the team speak and acre they are linked they do have a dependency um, so we we'll quickly click yes on that quickly and we are ready to go and you can see we're all green now to launch the game um, and unfortunately this won't show on the video because I can't swap from desktop to game um, but I will talk you through it literally right click on the preset update or actions and launch the game now what that will actually do is that will launch the game um, with the server mods that are required now that will launch the game normally uh, simply go to multiplayer and then look for the 527 server. It's quite simple. Go to uh, the bottom of the screen and you'll see a button called filter. Uh, click that, change the top line to read 527 and then click OK and the server should actually appear. If you get any problems, jump on our team speak. It's ts.527th.co.uk 
colon one zero zero five four um but you should already be there anyway i hope you enjoy playing with five two seventh um i will put some extra videos up on how to set up um team speak although we can pretty much do that quite easily via our team speak so uh, see you out there um and thanks ever so much for watching